here in, uh, so we're looking at the, the harbor in Santa Barbara. This area uh, might look like an old harbor, but it's actually one of our youngest ports and harbors uh, on the west coast. So this was only constructed, the breakwater for this area was only constructed in the 1920s, 1925. Uh, there was interest since the 1800s, but um, people knew that it was a bad idea, and so it took a long time to get the money together. So what was going on here is we have this, this drift. So from the bottom of your screen now towards the top of your screen, that's the direction of the, the, the coastal movement of um, sand, the littoral movement of sand. And as we look forward now, as we start to fly towards um, Stern's Wharf, the sand was moving down this part of the coast. When we put the harbor in, that created a huge um, problem. That created a huge uh, break. And, and the sediment in, initially, within the first year, started filling in the mouth of the harbor, filling in around the breakwater. And so that was a problem. So essentially, we've had to more or less continuously dredge this um, harbor, the mouth of the harbor and, and, and parts of the harbor. In other words, bring out that sediment. It goes into this uh, uh, pipe, this uh, dark um, uh, metal looking, it's not metal, but it looks like metal from the air pipe, um, goes up onto the beach, goes, goes near the parking lots, comes down, and then eventually dumps off farther down coast. So we move that sand around the harbor, around Stern's Wharf and dump it down. So um, very expensive, very costly um, endeavor to keep this small harbor open. Um, nevertheless, this is a real important uh, engine for the city of Santa Barbara. So we have the wharf, we have the harbor, which brings people to come do water sports. It's very, the, the breakwater creates very mellow water, very calm water. And so uh, as a consequence, it's, it's very easy to learn how to do things like sail here, a paddle board, that kind of stuff. It's very popular for people to bring their little kids to the, to the beach. Um, uh, and uh, and recreate and so it's pop so the, the beach here is so close to downtown so close to the residents and everything is both very popular for um, uh, uh, tourists as well as locals so a lot of locals will be out here jogging ride their bike rollerblading etc a lot of tourists will come down uh, hang on the beach for a while and then go frequent the shops and amenities and restaurants and all that kind of stuff in and around this downtown uh, harbor area. Another thing to say is uh, this area is, is really um, uh, going to be in bad shape when we talk about sea level rise. So the area that we just left, the, the area by the harbor, which is the Mesa uh, and, and all of that, that that's on relatively elevated um, bluffs, those areas are fine. But the main downtown area of Santa Barbara that we're flying towards, very low. And with sea level rise, there's going to be a lot of problem. We already have some issues, some challenges with flooding in, in certain of the low streets in Santa Barbara. It's going to be more problematic as we go through time. Um, one of the, the hallmarks of the Santa Barbara community, though, is they're very environmentally aware, very environmentally friendly. And so um, uh, uh, what they uh, prefer to do here is they prefer to take, whenever possible, environmentally friendly action. So as we're flying towards us, we're flying towards um, Mission Creek. So the Mission Creek dumps out here, um, basically right near the, the bottom of Stern's Wharf. And there's been a lot of investment, um, both in terms of art, in terms of uh, ecological time, in terms of community time, etc., cetera, um, to, uh, to restore our coastal streams here in Santa Barbara, Mission Creek being but one of them. And one of the main drivers of that is to try to restore the salmonid runs, the, the steelhead runs, um, and, uh, and recover that fishery. So these guys are really interested in, in doing responses to sea level rise in an environmentally friendly manner. Um, so this is Santa Barbara. These are, these are the beaches of uh, East Beach uh, of Santa Barbara, which we usually call East and West Beach, depending on which side of the, of the um, Stearns Wharf we're on, just for our own uh, monitoring per, uh, um, monitoring needs, but um, an important uh, uh, economic engine, important tourist engine, important cultural engine here in the community of Santa Barbara.